Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are the one who is going to create PPT or PowerPoint presentation, then today's video is going to be a super useful video for you. In today's video, we are going to learn how can you animate your text and objects that you use in your PPTs to make your PPT slide rich and more appealing to your audience. In today's video, we are going to learn two kinds of animations. One is page transition and how can you animate this transition. Second is how can you animate the text and object or the charts that is used in your PowerPoint presentation slide. So now let's learn how can you animate the page transition. Here you have a sample PPT slide that I have created only for today's learning purpose. First, let us see how can we add animations for page transitions. For that, you just click on the slide, go to transitions, by default none will be selected and you can select any of these available effects that best suits your requirement. Let's see a couple of them how it looks like. Let's select a fade one and a push one for the time being. I will select the push one for the first slide and let me select the cut one or rather random bars for the second one. Okay, let me go back to first slide and click slideshow. Slideshow is this little button. If you are a keyboard person, then you can go ahead and press F5. Select slideshow. So this is our first slide. When you hit enter, you can see how the page transition happened with the effect that we have added for the page transition. So let me add curtains to both of them. And click slideshow again. You can see how the page gets opened up. This is the first slide. Curtain opens up and the second slide appears. For each page, you can change this page transition effect. Now let's go ahead to the first page and apply animation to each of these bullet points and the chart. Select the bullet point, go to animations. Again, by default, none will be selected. You can select any of the animation effects that is listed here. There are a whole bunch of animation effects that are available. You can select any of the effects that you like. Let me select fly in for the first one. Let me select swivel for the second one. And let me select bounce for the third one. And for the chart, we will select grow and turn. Once you apply the effects for all the charts and bullet points, you can see them in the animation pane. If it is not by default available, then you can just go here to the advanced animation section. Just click on the animation pane. This animation pane appears on the right side of your PPT. If you want to change the order of this animation, because you can see the order of animation here, 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the order in which the data comes up when you keep on pressing enter button. If you want to change, you can change that too. Just click on which one you want to change. Move up and move down buttons are available here. Using these buttons, you can move up and down the order of any of the bullet points or chart. Okay. So let's see how it looks now, how the data appears now. Again, we'll go back to slideshow, curtain opens up. This is our first page. Before you had everything appeared on the first shot, but now only the heading appears because heading is something for which we have not given any of the animation effect. Okay. Once you press enter, the first point appears. Press enter again. The second point appears and if you have observed now these bullet points are appearing as per the effects that we have given click enter again enter again so this is how you can animate your text or points or the chart that you put in in your powerpoint presentation slide hope you enjoyed today's video and learned how to animate your text or objects or charts in your powerpoint slide if you like the content of the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and until my next video, happy learning.